Hey there, welcome to another episode of The Naked Turner. Today I'm out here in my shop and wanted to make a uh, Zebrano ring for my wife. I uh, got some uh, series of different uh, titanium ring cores from Craft Supplies USA and I am not being in any way, uh, this is not a product review or anything like that. I haven't been gifted these by Craft Supplies USA. Uh, I do, however, buy certain pen kits and other kits from them, as well as other distributors like Exotic Blanks and uh, Dawn and Ed at Exotic Blanks, who I really like. I've also tried Crooked Mill, uh, Penn State Industries, different places that I get parts and pieces from. But anyway, it's all about yourself, you going out and finding what works best for you and the people that you like working with. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go about trying to make this ring right now for my wife, and we'll see how it turns out. This is my first attempt at making a ring with a core. Uh, I have made another wooden ring in the past, which is still holding up, and uh, I think that one was a piece of walnut, and I just made it out of solid piece of walnut. Uh, I do not wear that. I made it for my uh, granddaughter, and she really doesn't wear it either, but anyway it's still together hopefully my wife will want to wear this ring i have sized it appropriately for her it may be a little bit loose but that's how she wanted it to be so here we go um let's check it out all right so i have a ring core over here with rounded edges titanium ring core and then here i have a, an approximately one and three quarter by one and three quarter by about 7 16th inch or a little less, maybe 3 8 inch thick piece of Zebrano. It looks to have some nice contrast of colors in it and hopefully this will be a nice uh, ring blank. Anyway, I've put some fast cap, uh, some of this Turner's tape, fast cap, speed tape, permanent adhesive. They use this for bonding on veneers, uh, edge banding veneers and things like that and it's extremely strong. So I think you can see here, I've got a layer of that here on the back of this. And then right up here, I've got a turning block, uh, waste block here that I'm gonna be double sticking that to, and that'll get me started. All right, I have it double stuck on, and I brought up my tailstock in order to get it into round. Okay, for this piece, it's pretty small. I'm putting on safety glasses instead of a safety shield. Uh, this piece is very small and I have it secure right now and by the time I have it turned down to a little ring It's gonna be very lightweight and small. I know that this weight waste block is extremely securely held into my scrolling jaw chuck uh, So there you go. Let's get started Okay, I'm spinning up here around 3300 rpm I'm going to come in at the edge. Coming in from both sides. just to avoid tear out. Good. Oh yeah, I'm seeing some really pretty fire in the edge of this piece. So, now I know where my center is on this. What I'm going to be doing next is drilling a hole. I'm going to get it a little closer to the finished size, though, because let me get a caliper out. Let me see if you can see this. The uh, dog is going a little crazy out here. It's my daughter's dog. We're watching my daughter's dog right now. Okay, so let's see if I can get this in here. So I'm going to be checking this. That's my inside diameter and then I, or, of the hole I'm going to be doing. So I could take at least, I'd say at least almost another eighth of an inch off of this piece and still have enough to work with. I don't want it to be real thick.
I scuffed up the outer edge just a tiny bit on the uh, ring core and I now have both sides blue taped and trimmed. And then I'm going to put some thick CA glue in here and uh, let that cure up naturally. No uh, accelerator. All right, I got some CA on there and I'm just letting it cure up. All right, so even with the blue tape, I still got a little bit of glue down inside of there, but I was able to clean it out using a wooden scraper and some Scotch-Brite pad. Um, I think it would have been worse without the blue tape, so I should have probably let it dry just a little bit longer. I think there was still some residue under the first layer that I had zip kicked or accelerated on. So just a word to the wise, maybe let it cure a little bit longer. And if it's a nice warm day, just let it cure naturally. All right, so I got these comfort ring bushings here. They look like this. And now I can just mount this on my pen mandrel with a couple pen spacers in here just to give me a little extra room to work around. And this is how I'll go about turning this ring. Alright, now I'm going to apply some Yorkshire Grit Microfine Abrasive Paste since I have a nice layer here. Just put a little bit of this on. Very tiny amount since it's such a tiny piece. And I'm actually just using my finger to micro abrade here at first. And I'm going to take microfine or sorry the microfine paste and I'll take a cloth here and just burnish that and look at that finish that luster some chatoyants and it looks really well sealed there's some more beautiful beautiful figure right there oops sorry about that yeah this is turning out really nice hopefully I'll be able to get the seal of the CA glue broken off of those rubber bushings or those Delron bushings um, and I'll end up with a nice piece here for my wife I'm going to do a little more polishing and buffing. And then, uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. Maybe give me a share, a comment. And uh, by all means, keep coming back. I'm trying to post new stuff all the time. I have over 350 videos on my channel right now. So, hope you enjoy. I am chucked here so that I could finish off these ends, polish them up nicely. And that's really helping to get this piece finished with it. it up and uh, this piece is almost done all right so here's a little tip for what I would do differently on uh, ring making put your double stick on and make the piece thick enough that you can leave this full backer double stuck and then you can come on come in and part it off once you have established the appropriate size hole and you don't even have to drill that hole all the way through and then uh, clean it out you can just drill it part of the way through and then part it off. That way you're maintaining more adhesion on your piece during your turning of the hole. Uh, just a tip I thought I might share with you. All right, well, it turned out really nice. There we go. It's got some beautiful fire in it. And I think my wife's going to like it. The ring I'm working on. This one is a piece of avocado. And I think it's going to be real pretty. This one's a little bit skinnier. 
It's this nice coral, sort of coral red color. <laughs>